Extraction 2 is the sequel to Extraction 1, but does that mean it's better? Extraction 2 is still directed by Sam Hargrave, and uh, both movies are still roughly two hours long. But does it mean the Extraction 2 is better than its predecessor, Extraction 1? They're both directed by Sam Hargrave, and in this video, we're here to compare the two movies directed by Sam Hargrave, and we're here to answer the question, is Extraction 2 better than Extraction 1? Before, I talk, uh, we, before we talk about Extraction 2 and Extraction 1, here is the plot of Extraction 2. If you don't know the plot of Extraction 1, go back and watch our video made almost a year ago where we review Extraction 1. Extraction 2 follows off the predator with Tyler Rake being fatally shot and recovering for several months and his ex-wife asking him to save her sister, Ketevin, and her children from Ketevin's abusive husband, Jurab, from a prison in Georgia. Jurab is killed by Rake, and the protagonist has to deal with inmates and armed soldiers sent by Jurab's brother, Jurab's brother, David, wanting to avenge Jurab. We see Rake, with Ketevin and her children, escape on a, from prison on train from the Dav from David's men with the help from the you know, Rake's trusted friend, Nick and Yas. They recover at a safe house, which gets compromised, uh, which gets compromised when uh, Ketevin's son, Sandro, leaks their location to David. The safe house gets compromised by Georgian soldiers, and in the firefight, Yaz dies. Nick and Rake track down David, wanting vengeance for Yaz's death. Shooting, they both shoot David and are uh, imprisoned for, uh, for their crimes until a stranger causes them to escape asking them to be recruited into a team, and that's how the movie ends. <clears throat> the, the, uh, the crimes that they were arrested for was for shooting David. He, uh, the public didn't know he was a bad guy. The Georgian police arrested him. David was viewed as a good man to the Georgian police, and uh, they, they, little did they know he was a bad guy. Here are the pros of Extraction 2. First of all, it's a great action movie. Just like its predecessor, Extraction 1. In this uh, movie, uh, we see more action and plenty of it. From the prison, to the safe house, to, uh, to the warehouse where David gets fire shot dead. And uh, similarly, like in the first movie, it has a great one take. In the, in the first movie, the one take was a uh, rake driving away in a, in a truck with Ovi beside him. Here, the one take is the prison scene, uh, where we can see Rake fighting off the prisoners with different, uh, different, uh, with different methods. Extraction 2 follows the same footsteps as its predecessors, with numerous pros and few cons, with those cons relating to the depth of its story and the development of its characters. While Tyler Rake gets his fair share of development from the first film, the same cannot be said for returning members Nick and Yaz. The new characters aren't treated much better, with Ketevin and Nina being nothing more than glorified plot devices. However, Sandro is a standout character, changing significantly throughout the story and given his own character arc. So, after all that, is Extraction 2 better than Extraction 1? We think no. While both movies are undeniably spectacular action movies, we feel that the first one edges out the second in a few areas. Firstly, the pacing. Both movies begin with a moment of calm for Tyler Rake before plunging into 90 minutes of action. However, Extraction 1 handles this moment of calm quickly and less clunkily. Another point for the predecessor is its theme, leaning heavily into the arid and congested Bangladesh. While Extraction 2 attempts to emulate this with a snow cold prison fight, it fails to maintain it for the duration of its runtime. The final reason why Extraction 1 is better than Extraction 2 is that the sequel is simply too familiar to the first film. The plot is very similar, they both have an impressive one take and are incredibly violent. Extraction 1 presented new and interesting ideas. Extraction 2 took those ideas and failed to build on them. And that's uh, our review on Extraction 2.